And I think a lot of that comes down to, if you guys don't know, I've been a worship leader for a long time. And we are kind of like the monkeys on stage with symbols. You know, you just end us up, give us a paycheck, and we're just going to do whatever you tell us to do. <laughs> um, that's not how I would prefer it. Pretty much every other worship leader I have known uh, would say the same thing, that we are kind of guns for hire, even if we've been at churches for a long time, because most worship pastors, worship leaders, whatever title you want to put on it, um, only have so much authority or say, because at the end of the day, whoever their leader is, whether it be the head pastor um, or whatever uh, intermediate role in between the pastor is, um, you know, say the worship leader doesn't want to do a certain song or does want to do a certain song. They feel like it's really good. Um, at any point, they could be vetoed and be like, no, you're not doing that. <laughs> or no, you're doing that song. Even if they have yeah, an issue yeah. with it or they don't feel comfortable with it, it doesn't matter. And that's why I say a lot of times we're like, you know, those wind up monkeys, we just got to play. You know, sometimes we just got to shut our mouths and do what we got to do. And that feels really yucky. Um, any Anybody I've talked to in those positions have said that. Like, even if they didn't feel personally attacked by their pastor or their staff, it just made them feel gross. Like, they were, at, at that moment, you kind of realize, like, oh, that's what I am here. Like, my opinion isn't valid. My input isn't valid. At the end of the day, I sing well, or I play guitar or keys well. Um, or I know how to put a worship set together. But at the end of the day, I guess I'm not as valued as I thought I was, you know.